Okay, we're back. We're going to look at the, some more problems off of this uh, off of this quiz. Okay, we're going to uh, look at um, these three pieces of the piecewise function. Okay, and uh, this is some line. We'll have to find the equation of that line, which we'll do momentarily. This looks like your unit circle. Okay. So the line, I don't know what it is, but we'll come and find that. And that's going to be defined whenever x is less than, looks like negative 1. Negative 1, okay? Uh, we've got the, the unit circle, which is 1 minus x squared, okay? And that's in between um, negative 1 and um, 0. Negative one and zero, and and of course we're going to assume that these uh, are filled in circles on that one. We can't assume filled in circles there and there, so we're going to assume that. So we'll put that there and over here, okay? And this is my root of x, uh, root of x, which is from um, you know um, x uh, greater than one, and uh, so the question is, what is this line? So Find the equation of the line that goes through. Let's see. That's uh, that's uh, negative one, negative one, and then if we go over two, it looks like we go down. If we go over two, that's uh, one, two, three. So this is the point negative two, uh, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative three. So we just find the equation of the line with those two points. Okay. And you know that I'll leave that up to you, okay? Um, but uh, I'm going to tell you the equation of that line is 2x plus 1, okay? Now, in terms of what is the domain, uh, the domain is the sweep in x going across like this. We cover all x values, so so the domain runs from negative infinity to positive infinity. There's no gaps in this. Now, if we're running up and down, up and down. We're going to find there's a gap in the y. Uh, between uh, negative 1 and 0, so we have to state the range uh, by um, what? By negative infinity to negative 1, uh, and we're going to include that, and then we pick up um, from 0 on out, okay? All right, let's go down. Let's look at some more. Okay. Determine the domain of this function. Now, okay, so we're taking the square root of something, and, of course, whenever we take the square root of something, that which is under the square root, 2x plus 5, okay, must be, okay, um, must be greater than or equal to 0 because you can't take the square root of a negative. So we just solved that. 2x is greater than or equal to negative 5. x is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves, or 2 and a half negative. And, of course, what does that mean? That means that the domain is only defined from the x value of negative 5 halves, negative 2 and a half, if you will. And it's still a root graph, so it just looks like that, okay? And that's that, all right? Um, number five, uh, we are taking the square root. What we take the square root of is only positives. So that means the expression 5 over x squared minus 9 must always be positive, which means it always is greater than 0. That should look like a, uh, an expression requiring solving by sign table. And in doing that, we've got a factor, and in factoring, just denominator x plus 3, x minus 3, uh, we have to make the declaration that x can't equal either 3 or negative 3, because that would impose a 0 in the denominator. Uh, so we can set up our sign table in and around negative 3 and positive 3 with the uh, factors x plus 3 up top here x minus 3, we should be well comfortable with sign tables at this point, negative plus plus negative negative uh, plus overall plus minus plus. So what are we looking for? 
everything greater than zero, which is our plus groupings, which come in from negative infinity, can't include negative three. We said so here, okay? And then from three, not inclusive, on out to infinity, okay? Uh, let's do one more in this, okay? Uh, we're taking a cube root. Cube root's a little easier because we can take the cube roots of negatives. So we're not concerned about this expression underneath here being positive, but we are concerned with zeros in the denominator. So if I take this expression and I factor its denominator, we should see that that would factor, of course, in the two binomials, and it should be what? Um, minus 5 and minus 1. Uh, and again, uh, again, the cube root has no restrictions, but the, this, the uh, fraction has restrictions. X can't equal 5. X can't equal 1. That's what X can't equal. The domain is asking what X can equal. So uh, the domain is going to consist of all the numbers that are not those, which would have to be coming in from negative infinity to 1. Can't include it. Union with 1 to 5. In union with 5 to infinity. Okay, so that'll be enough for this. Uh, and we'll come back in another video and look at the solutions to the round.